Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and it is the blessing box day. So at the end of this video, I will draw last week's winner and we will also talk about this week's special word to comment. I wanna thank Michelle, one of my beautiful captains who has helped me compile this week's entries for this week's giveaway. And we're actually gonna do two blessing boxes today. Um, something fun. We, let me just, um, blessing boxes are boxes of um, purged items that you, my lovely subscribers and um, friends from Ginger's Corner send to me. And what I do with them is I have a giveaway when going through it each week um, until I run out. I have at least this one and two more weeks worth of giveaways. But what I also do is I take all of those miscellaneous papers and from blessing box to blessing box, I make page kits. And so I do random giveaways over on the Facebook group. If you want to be part of that, if you want to enjoy um, other crafters and just have an uplifting, inspiring time, come join us. We would love to have you. We do our swaps. Um, and other things. So then I take all of those and I do giveaways throughout the whole year. I am to the point that I have been blessed so much to be able to give to all of you that I basically provide the postage and you guys have provided the rest. Now I do put my card stock and, and other goodies and we do live giveaways where I've bought dies and stamps and things um, on clearance that I love to share with you guys. Um, but it is definitely not just from me. It is so um, heartwarming to see people be so generous. I can't say that enough. So thank you to everyone who has donated to the Blessing Box giveaway series um, and future giveaways as well. Um, I also want you guys to know I am so honored that you are here. You are watching. If it's your first time, I'd be honored if you subscribed. But even if not just for me, to join the community over on Gender's Corner and um, help spread joy. That's what this is. That's what paper and scrapbooking does to me. It, what, it fills my heart with all of you and all of your comments. And I just... It just makes me see good. There's a lot of bad going on right now. So to feel good, inspired, and accepted is just, it's nice. It's really nice. And I hope that you'll join that. All right. So we are going to, like I said, do two blessing boxes. We're going to combine two of them. They are amazing. Uh, now, I haven't even looked through one. The other one I have, and let me tell you, oh, you're going to want to attend some of the lives on the Facebook group coming up in the next month because... Some of these are amazing, amazing. We have some amazing crafters and people in our group. So let's just get into it. The first blessing box is by Kathleen. She messaged me um, and I do do these, bless, these boxes in the order that I receive them. It's been a while. Let's see, when is the mailing date on this? It was last month sometime, I believe. Yeah, she mailed it 322. So here it is almost a month later. I'm finally getting to it. That's um, amazing that we have so many people that donate to this. So um, Kathleen asked me if she could send some goodies. And I said, of course, I am so honored. And I am. So I want to thank Kathleen for whatever we're about to see, because I haven't even opened the box. I haven't even opened it. So let's just get into it. Now, I won't share her information or nothing. Let me, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> lots of pretty paper, lots and lots. Okay, so let's see here. Can't wait. What's on top? What's on top? Okay. Oh, it's already all sorted. Beautiful. Oh, we have some beautiful cardstock. Some basil. All right. I know. You can't see. Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying. My hands are... Look, see? Just to grab that. My hands are so small. <laughs> my hands are truly small. All right. So, look at that, you guys. Look. I can't even... Can you see all of that? Kathleen, you are so giving and so generous. Thank you so much. So much. Well, we're going to have a big giveaway this week, aren't we? All right. So, let's just look through it and let's have some fun. I almost like going through the boxes more than anything. Isn't it fun to see different paper? Okay, so she did, sent some month 
um, stickers January through December. These are gorgeous. Bryce and Madeline. I've had these. These are fun little stickers. They are great for month and review pages for sure. So we have some of those. And remember at the end, I will show whatever, usually I make kits or I put some papers that match well together and I, um, that's what the giveaway is. Sometimes there's embellishments. It depends on what's in the box. So at this point, this is what I see. <laughs> so here's a beautiful butterfly paper. This has almost like a mixed media feel. That's gorgeous. It is double-sided, beautiful purple. Let's see here. I gotta make more, some more room on my desk. I've been working on Terry's journal and I have my punches in the way. Okay, so this one here has a little note in it and she sent our email correspondence. So that is, see here what this says. Beautiful bag picked for you, Kathleen. Okay. Oh, you guys, isn't this so pretty? Now I'm gonna try not to cry. You guys know I'm such a sap. Look at that dream catcher. I would want to build, did she make a kit around this? I don't know. Kathleen, what have you done? Okay, let me see, let me see. So it's a pink fresh paper. Um, and oh, it's pretty paper. And then, oh, look at this red. <gasps> She's been watching, I love these red papers. This is stunning. That is a beautiful paper. I would, does it have a name or anything on it? Oh, that is just gorgeous. These are all beautiful. After my heart. <gasps> Look, I can do a layout for Jilly. She's in band. These are just beautiful, Kathleen. Thank you so, so much. And I want to almost take this card and these papers and I want to make a page kit. We should in the future, right? Maybe this December, maybe I'll set this aside and I'll do I'll do a YouTube and it will be um, inspired by Kathleen. Kathleen, thank you so much for singling out some papers for me. Um, you guys know I, I feel guilty. Like I feel like you guys are blessing and it's my job. Hmm. It's what I've been called to do to share it with others. And I try so hard not to be selfish because I see all this paper and I love it, right? So Kathleen, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I know I speak for everyone else when uh, what we're about to go through, they appreciate it too. So thank you so much for helping me bless and bring joy to other people. Oh, okay, I need a minute. I don't want to cry. All right, so let's see here. Oh, we got a beautiful Vicky Booten. You guys, I have a Vicky Booten kit going out of some papers that I have gotten purged. And so I'm going to put this in there and we'll have a Vicky Booten giveaway. So thank you so much for the stencils. I got that one too. I think I got it in a grab bag or grab buy, you know, cherry on top and them have those sometimes. So then we have a beautiful floral brown and this teal always will go together. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Reminds me of a bow bunny paper. I mean, it's not, it's SEI, but it's very pretty. Okay. So there's that one. Let's just take a stack and I think it'll go better. It will go like this. Okay. Some beautiful peachy florals. Those are one side. We have a couple of those. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous background papers. Wouldn't they make gorgeous background papers? A few of those. Beautiful, everyday, celebrate, favorite, everyday. This could either go for birthday, I do have a birthday kit going, or even wedding would be really well. Okay, some more pretty foil. Now, I'm not a huge fan, you guys know I'm not, but little bits, I could do this. Like, I could do this in a happy horizontal or something, small amounts. I don't think I could do it in large amounts, but I could definitely do it in small amounts. And there's two of those. Then a pretty star paper. I see birthday all day long. Or a graduation. That would be good in a graduation one, wouldn't it? I kind of have a graduation kit going, as would this one. Would go good in a graduation. Okay. Again, or a New Year's. Beautiful polka dot. Could go for Disney as well. Do you have a Disney kit going? Same here, or this could be Halloween. Gorgeous papers. Some more of this chevron. I don't know why. It's really not chevron, is it? Like, it just, it's offset. Hmm. Very cool. 
I like these brown papers though. I've never seen one of these paper pads and I've seen a lot of these in the blessings box. So it must've been popular and I missed the boat. <laughs> Wouldn't be a first time. Okay, so gorgeous stamp. This reminds me of a mixed media kind of feel. Um, grays. Then we got some florals. You know, these work really good for Halloweens. For people like me who aren't into the spookity side of Halloween, I, I do go towards some black and white um, layouts towards Halloween. Some pretty green hearts. Isn't that pretty? This is gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. This would make a pretty wedding um, base as well. There are two of those. A little bit of gold and the B side is those hearts again. Okay, and we have some pretty orange. I'm always needing orange, believe it or not, when I'm making these page kits. So that is perfect. Orange, orange, these are all the same. And then I do believe I have this paper. We've had this before. Or I have, I think I have this paper myself. I do. Oh, and looky there. It's got balloons, balloons. I think I have a die set I could put with this and make a little kit for like traveling in summer. So there's quite a few of those. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And some orange. Oh, and on the B side is that one. Now I would pick the polka dot all day long. We could do a whole kit. I could do one to put in this week's giveaway and one for later. Cause look, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Kathleen. All right, pretty pink, I see hearts. Um, that's just kind of a geographic, almost looks like chicken wire, huh? It looks like chicken wire. <laughs> I like chicken wire, see, you gotta find things. This is a little bit, I don't know. I think it's just not matchy matchy for me. I don't know, you guys know me. I like monochromatic, but I don't know. There's just something about that paper. It doesn't speak to me, but it could speak to someone else, right? Just cause I don't connect with it, but this side all day long. Chicken wires, all I see. <laughs> Pretty bright yellow, makes you think spring. Um, love it. So many beautiful papers. I'm telling you, this is almost my favorite part. Okay, some pretty spring purple. We could add a couple of these because I'm doing a purple um, kind of themey kit for Mother's Day. That might fit in there. I'll have to check that out. Then we have some pretty icy boy all day long. Nice and pastel -y, right? We're kind of in that mode. Summer, this would make a good pool layout as well. There we go. There's those, quite a few of those. Then there's this beautiful horse paper. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're getting into some teals. Beautiful paper. I wanna make sure there's not a B side to show you. This one's so pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, and look at that side. I have this paper. I want to say it's a, from a Simple Stories line even, or a Vicki Booten. I don't know. I can't remember. That's going to bug me that I can't remember. But these are beautiful and perfect to put in page kits to tie them together. Love that. Thank you so much. And you guys, look, an entire pack of this green that I am always hunting down for these page kits. So... I cannot wait to put this in page kits. Um, uh, let me show, I'll put up here. I have a old, that I used to take to crops suitcase and this thing is packed full of page kits, seriously, to give away. And that's what you guys have made it possible to do. Seriously, you have. So I will go through those page kits and I like to beef them up as much as I can. So I will take these solids and see if I can add to each one before and then I have a box, I'll put that right here, that I have all of the papers that have been sent to me in page kits and they are sorted by color. So when I have one bag that is um, like inspirational papers, multicolored or a print that I would like to start a page kit from and when my, my tote gets down, then I'll make more page kits. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So I have them sorted. Because that's how my mind works. She sent basil and green. That color green. So we have army green. This is Jilly's favorite color green right here. We have a um, almost, I don't want to call that a forest green. I don't know. It's a green. <laughs> it's a pastel green. Then she sent it in this nice, bright, almost um, teal. Then, oh, it doesn't end. Look at this. Look how generous she was. A pretty purple. 
right? A beautiful red. She sent two of these. Let's see, and on the B sides, they're the same. One side's texture, one side isn't. Then she also sent, look, she sent canvas. What? This is so cool. You, you can use these on your layouts though, you guys. Don't think that you can't, because you can cut this with your dies. You can. That is just amazing. Oh my goodness, my goodness. This is good for fall. I might just put a whole pack of this in the fall kit that I have going. Yeah, these are amazing. Okay, let's see here. And then she also sent these um, beautiful marble. Again, these are kind of like just solids and I could definitely beef up some page kits with them. This is beautiful. I actually like that, this marbling. I love this. I know I've seen it. I just, for the life of me, cannot think of where. Do you guys know where? Maybe one of you guys will remember. Okay, several of those. Then we have a beautiful doily of the B side. That must go to that other print. It must be from the same. Then we have some gorgeous, see now this to me would be a page kit starter. So I would take this, I would add some pinks, some oranges, some green, and that would be a page kit. That's how I do that. Maybe one day we'll just sit and make page kits out of the, and make them for the blessings box. That would be fun, right? Okay, so that is everything that Kathleen has sent. Like it's nothing. This is a ton of paper, you guys. It's a lot. Oh, thank you so, so much. Um, now let me get the other blessing box. We'll get that going. I'm just gonna actually set right there. Okay. So this is from one of our new um, members at Gender's Corner. And she messaged me and asked me, she just likes to make embellishments. Her name is Ruby. Ruby, I'm going to tell you right now, you should sell your embellishments. I know when the others see these, once I start pulling them out, they're gonna think the same thing. I wanna thank you for donating everything that you have. Yes, some will go in this week's giveaway. You'll see it at the end, again, um, after we draw the winner at the end of the video. There are a lot of these that are also gonna go in the blessing box that I use for giveaways um, when I do lives and just when I decide we're gonna give something away. So, wow, that's all I got to say. Let, let's, let's dig in, seriously. And when I say dig in, look you guys. Look at these beautiful things that she has sent me. She made little Louis Vuitton bags. Louis Vuitton bags. What? This is just, now here's her information. I am going to put it here. Okay. Contact Ruby and let her know how beautiful her things. I mean, it is right down, and this is all paper, right down to the tassel. Seriously. Look how, and the little latch. I mean, these are just, look, it, it goes right in here. She even made a place for it. That's, uh, it's just stunning, stunning. Just follow her on Instagram. She deserves to have thousands of followers. This is beautiful, Ruby. Thank you so, so much. So she has gifted these purses, right? There are three of them. Now, what would you do with them? You could, if you have a teeny bopper like I do, a girl, you could use these to put um, gift cards in for birthdays, just because you could use these for teachers. Wow, these are beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Ruby. Thank you so much. I almost wanna keep this one because the red bow, but I won't, I won't, I won't. Okay, so then she also has sent um, some goodies here is for Easter. This will be going in the Easter kit. Then just some beautiful hearts. Let me, I should put them closer. I apologize. Beautiful hearts. And I love that she puts her name on the back of everything. There are the Easter ones. Let's see here. This is just, oh, these are babies. I should put this in my kit for what I am making for Miss Josie. We're going to start that here very soon. I look at all these little name, date. Look at the little bear. Oh my goodness, these are so, so cute. Lots of little goodies, a giraffe, just some little amazing, this is almost like a cluster builder bag. But I mean, that's, that's what this is, right? We've got sentiments, elephants, just little odds and ends. This is just wonderful. Thank you so much, Ruby. Wonderful. We're just so lucky. We have so many talented people. Honestly, 
giving, talented people. And you guys know, now I will never say otherwise, ever. I started on Love RTS. Miss Deb was so sweet enough to allow me to um, start swaps over there. And it grew, grew to the point that we ended up moving um, this past January. But never mistake the fact that I am very aware that without Love RTS, I don't think I would have been doing this. I had no desire to do it. And... God just kind of put it on my heart to do it and it exploded. And you know what? He He shows us what we're supposed to do. He does. But I am very grateful for all of my friends because without them, wouldn't be where I am. So some more beautiful embellishments. Scraps. I love this. She made them out of scraps. I already know because I make those kind of things. Look at this book. Is this book? Oh, yeah, that's the front. Look at this. It's full of goodies. Look at those butterflies, you guys. Are those not stunning? Oh, some came off. A little bit came off. Is that because she put them with temporary adhesive so they could be used? Look at those tickets. Aren't the, the detail on those? Aren't those wonderful? And then here is like a under the sea, maybe. Oh, it's maybe just summer. Look, we could I could put this in the summer kit. Oh, that one fell off as well. We'll just Put it back on there. I know she did it that way so that they could be used, right? And let me tell you, this is this book is so cute by itself. That is wonderful. I think I will put this in the summer kit. And look, she put little tags on us. This is smart. This is really smart. And then you can just tie it, right? Like so, and it'll stay closed. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. I'm all fingers over here. So cute. Look at that. That is beautiful. We'll put that in the summer kit. Then let's see here. We've got some coin purses. Oh, I bet that fell out of the one. I bet it did. Yep, I'll put it in there. Look at these coin purses. Do they open? I don't want to. Oh my goodness, they do. Look, you could even just make these a shaker if you wanted to. Put a little miniature photo in there or something and put on a layout. How beautiful. Happy Mother's Day. They're for Mother's Day. That we'll put, we'll definitely put one of these in the um, Mother's Day kit. How cute. Probably it has purple even. See, it's meant to be, meant to be. All right, let's see what else we got in here. You guys, there's just so much. Easter, um, titles. Let's see, what else do we have? Because there's just so much in here. I'm going to take it all out and we're not going to be able to go through every single last thing, but I do want to show her goodies. Okay. So, and let's see here. Just so then, oh, there's another coin purse in here as well. Gosh, so many beautiful things. Um, These must have went on that one. So I will put them on there. Again, I know the reason they fell off is because they were um, temporary adhesive, so you could reuse them, right? So as we look at them, I'll put them back in the box. I'll try to be very gentle with some of them. Okay, so here we go. I wonder, I don't know that it matters. I just don't want to disrespect any of it. Um, these, I think, went in here. Didn't, wasn't there a back page with these on it? They were. So I will add some more temporary adhesive and put those back on there. So we'll do that. Okay. And we might find where that one goes. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Maybe this one went here. I'll put that in a baggie. Okay. So let's see. Here's some more beautiful creations. Here's another one. Oh, look. This one says hi. I think it's supposed to go that way. Hi, isn't that cute? So many, so many pretty things. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then a pretty blue set. Just beautiful creations. Look at that. Aren't these great? Look at that banner. That is so, and it's quality work, you guys. It truly is quality. It's another one of those. This one here. Be good for a teeny bopper or even the Paris journal we just did for Miss Michelle. And then here is a bunch of stamped images. Add those to our baby kit that I have going on. <laughs> I 
I love this. Look at the little penguin inside of there. That is so cute. Now, I'm pretty sure the penguin and this is supposed to go inside the envelope. But is that not the cutest ever? It is. We have some little elements. These remind me of Baby as well. A lot of um, people, it was kind of the trend, wasn't it? To do like fox and forest animals. So cute. Then another Easter. Okay. Some more Easter. Oh, some Halloween ones. Look, it's a pumpkin. And she's done it on both sides. Look, there's even a little spider on there. Those are so adorable. So nice. Quality work, like I said. Here's some almost, um, no, nope, they're not flare. They're paper, but stamped. And then each individual one is decorated. Ruby, these are beautiful. Another one with hearts. Um, here is one with music. Oh, I think this is probably a boy one, right? How <laughs> cute. Okay, another one for Valentine's Day. Then we have a couple sets of bows. I mean, look at those tiny bows. Oh my goodness, these are tiny. Okay, then some baby ones. Several baby ones. Just like that. And you don't have to just use them for baby. That's just what they remind me of. I'm just over here gabbing. <laughs> don't mind me. These ones, maybe Easter or baby or every day. Aren't they gorgeous? We've got some more lamb. So cute. Oh, look at this one. That is so sweet. So sweet. Beautiful butterflies. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then we have just some sentiments. And then here's a couple of pocket tags. We're gonna be doing these for Miss Terry's journal. Maybe even I'll take the pink one, but it's birthday. So I'm thinking we'll put these in the birthday kit. I don't have a lot in that birthday kit. I keep saying it and then none of the papers are matching. So I have three different page kits started for birthday. So then the girl and then a boy one. We just did a baby swap. So just like that, beautiful work. Um, and is this the card she sent me? I believe it is. Yep. So, um, she said, thank you for letting her share. Wow. No, no, no. Thank you for sharing with us. Honestly. And look, she made me a little owl. I love owls. And you guys know me. I will probably keep the front and reuse it as a card or I will put it on layout. You've seen me do that before. Um, this one must have one of the missing ones that I have underneath this pile and I'll add that to it. Beautiful sentiments. Look at these, these are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Boy, all, you know, and it's hard to find boy embellishments. I would use those on a boy layout. I mean, I know there's flowers there, but I would. Another really adorable one and another set of bows. And then this must go to that one that is missing one. So I will reattach the ones that um, have come off and let me draw the winner. That's what we're gonna see next. Thank you, Ruby, so much for sharing your talent with us. We are honored that you gifted this to the giveaway boxes. And we're gonna pick next week's, or last week's winner. And then I'm gonna show you what's this week's and we're gonna talk about what you need to comment. So hang in there. All right, you guys. So we are going to do last week's winner. We had 43 entries to, um, Enter to win to participate in the drawing. I, yeah, got that all. <laughs> Those words came out different than they were in my head. All right, so you had to comment um, and be entered to win. Now, I think I have, I already have filmed the video for the blessing box this week um, because I needed to get some things done, neither here nor there. So, but I don't do this part of it. And that's why it's spliced in until all of the time frame has elapsed. And I've given everybody a full time to, um, enter to win, but there will not be a blessing box video next week. We are going to skip two weeks and then I will start up again. Um, in let's see in two weeks because we have international scrapbook we have mother's day coming up and i am super busy and i just don't think i'll get it in but we will continue i still have two weeks worth after this week's to do um we will get those going and and we'll do it again i'll just keep adding to this series until i don't have any more blessing boxes so and plus i have giveaways all the time you guys join ginger's corner there are giveaways that i do not do on youtube that are over there that are um 
from these blessing boxes. We give giveaways all year long. So it's just going to be a busy couple of weeks with, you know, school wrapping up and, and stuff for me. So it will be two weeks before I post my next video. So let's see who won this one. Again, thank you to Michelle for putting all of the names together on Facebook so that we could draw a winner. And let's see here. Lisa, you are the winner of this last week's, not this week's, but last week's. And then I am going to come back here in just a moment and I will show you this week's and we're going to talk about what you're going to comment. All right. So you guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Let's go over what you need to comment in order to win. Congratulations to the winner. Um, message me either through YouTube here. I'll put my email in the, um, uh, description or over on YouTube. You can private message me that way. And let's just go into what you need to comment in order to um, be entered to win this week's giveaway. You can comment here on YouTube or you can comment on um, the Facebook group post because I put it in both places. If you comment on both, you get two chances to win. You'll be entered twice. So let's just see here. What should we do this week? How about, why don't you guys tell me, let's see, what word can we use? I don't know. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Um, tell me your favorite place to shop. International Scrapbooking Week um, is coming up, uh, International Scrapbooking Day. I called it week because I shop all week, right? <laughs> So that is coming up and um, tell me your favorite place to shop and what your plan is. Use the word shop. With the word shop, then you can be entered to win. I would love to see what everyone's plan is, what they're going to do, what you're going to participate in. I just love to hear what you guys are doing. So nothing um, more than the word shop will get you entered. You can just put shop and you'll be entered to win. So here's what you are going to get. First, I'll go over the embellishments from Miss Ruby. Aren't these just, oh, they're gorgeous. You're gonna get the Louis Vuitton bag. You're going to get one of these beautiful books, and I did put everything back in there with um, temporary tape. You're going to get several. You're going to get one of the coin purses, um, several of the little packs. Here's some Easter. I kind of put some Easter ones together. There's some bows, some baby ones. Um, you're going to get all of these, okay? And again, just comment the word shop. Tell me what your guys' plan is for um, International Scrapbook Day. Where are you going to shop? What are you looking forward to? But you do have to use that word shop. Um, so you're going to get all of those goodies, okay? And then all of these beautiful papers. My desk is just overflowing here. Okay, so you're gonna get one of the pack of the canvas sheets. You're going to get some of this just regular cardstock. I did just include just some pieces of cardstock and then I made some page kits, all right? So um, let's see here, the first page kit, you will get all of these, all right? And the first page, kids, let's see here. We're going to take this beautiful paper and we're going to pair it up with a couple of the card stocks that were sent by Miss Kathleen and these hearts. I feel like those go very well together. That is your page kit, just like so. You could add a pink if you wanted to. I probably would, to be honest, or a peachy. So there's page kit one. All of this is coming to you. It's coming to you. Okay, page kit two, I took this pretty purple and I put it with a couple of pieces of the basil cardstock purple. And then we did a pop of yellow in there to go with the flowers. And that is page kit number two that is included in this week's giveaway. Page kit number three, I built off the butterflies. Okay, and you're gonna get two of those. You're gonna get a peach pieces of the basil. I think there's three of these greens in there. And then some oranges. I thought this made a very pretty page kit. And this was just made out of the blessings box. Okay, so there's that one. Hopefully I'm 
in the right area and you can see it. <laughs> if not, I guess I'll have to redo it. Okay, and then I just simply, this one was easy peasy, right? Did one with the hot air balloons. I did add this paper and this paper, but there is that page kit, okay? So just like so. Tell me where you like to shop. Tell me what's your plan for International Scrapbook Day. Are you going to participate in events? But do use the word shop. I want to thank Ruby. I want to thank Kathleen for your generosity and sponsoring this giveaway. You guys are amazing. Join Ginger's Corner. We have so much fun. So much fun. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Be blessed and spread joy. Paper is a lot of fun, but there are a lot of other ways to do it. Just be kind to one another. I'll talk to you later. Bye.